Nice and beautiful guys. So basically I'm in the kitchen today and I decided to do something new and something really lovely on the menu. So today menu I want to do you guys some oven baked pork. A lot of people doesn't like pork, you know what I mean? A lot of people, you know what I mean, that's it. But sometimes you have to just do something new for the fans and who like it. And this is what's gonna happen today. We're gonna do some roast pork, all right? It's, um, it's gonna be pork chops, which is very, very nice. All right, guys, enjoy it and stay tuned. So first thing I'm gonna say, I have a white onion. I'm going to be cutting up. Very fine. Instead of like this, so spring onion. All of this really come in handy when you're making certain kind of dish. You know what I mean? I love my peri peri season. Really nice. I'm gonna put some of it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika. I'm just, I'm not magi, you know what I mean? I'm just showing you exactly what you guys can do at home. A tablespoon of mixed herb. Very good. Mixed herb. Tablespoon of all purpose season, very good. And some garlic and salt, just a tiny little bit of garlic and salt. Alright, you might have said, Why did you put any garlic? I have some natural blending season with a lot of garlic inside of it. So, what I'm gonna do is put on a tablespoon of it. Look at that. That is amazing. If you have ginger, you could put a piece of ginger on it and that will definitely bring in the flavor. Also, uh, it guys, it's just amazing. But anyway, as I say, it's just a simple little recipe and hopefully it's gonna put a little bit of ketchup not much and i'm gonna take my time and rub it up because of bone you have to be careful make sure you have all gloves so if you just take a little time and marinate up the pork like this Smell amazing. Mm. Smells so lovely. So basically, so this is the pork right now, marinated, and I'm gonna show you how to cook it. Uh, so, so it's gonna be a full recipe from Chef Ricardo. One hundred percent good recipe. Beautiful. Look at that. Is that nice? Mm -mm. Really nice. Look at that. That is amazing. Is that beautiful? Look at that, guys. Fantastic. So, what you want to do? Once you do that, 
you need to get it soaked. For it to get the soak, what you need to do is just wrap it like this. And just leave this for roughly about two, three hours. You can cook it after two, three hours. All right, guys? Yeah, I will show you how to cook it. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, what I did, I just straight up the pork right here, as you can see it for yourself, I straight up and get it ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the oven now and bake this for roughly about 45 minutes in the oven, all right? And I will take it out to make you guys can see during the process of what I've been doing. In the meantime, I'm going to be cutting off some tomato and tomato and um and some onion in the meantime to put on it and cook it on with it. So bring a lot of flavor to the pork, all right, guys? So 45 minutes, any kind of oven you have, Put your temp a temperature on a medium size heat and put it for put your watch for five to five minutes. Ready? Yes, I'm ready to. Nice and lovely guys. So basically, just just take that beautiful pork from the oven. Here it is. You can see the color of the pork, but look at that. Fantastic. I'm gonna just turn it over to the other side. You know what I mean, don't really have to look at this. Beautiful, taste this. Mm. Really nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I want to give the fans a little bit of a secret. Because we want to do the thing the right and proper way. Alright? So through we doing it the right and proper way, this is what's gonna happen. I'm going to get some tomato and just put it in like this. We got this beautiful tomato which I'm going to be using. And what I'm going to do is just pour a little water because the juice need a little bit of liquid around it. Not much, just a little bit of water. I just use it for the kekla. I'm using three medium sized tomato. And it's gonna simple. I mean, sprinkle a little bit of ketchup. And um, where it is? I got some garlic and salt that I like to use. Little bit of pepper. So I'm just gonna just pop back this in the oven for about 10 minutes and it will be ready. Alright, enjoy it. And that's exactly what we're talking about. That is beautiful. Nice and lovely guys. So basically look at that. This is beautiful and really fantastic and nice. Look at everything. It's just amazing. Um well, anyway, I'm gonna share it up now and make you guys can see how it look on a plate when I serve it. All right, so stay tuned and see what's going on. So as you can see, guys, start to plate up beautiful pork and vegetables and stuff. So yeah. now what I'm going to do is. Make sure I put on two nice lovely pieces of the pork chops on the plate. Like this. Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not only that, 
I have the tomato which I saw so I did cut up. Alright guys, I need to put some at the side like this. Remember the tomato that when we slice up? Yeah. We're gonna put them like this at the side. And then let's put a little bit of the liquid which come off the pork. One thing I can say, please enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave your comments in the description box and tell me what do you think about this recipe here. Guys, not another normal recipe is Chef Ricardo recipe. You got some avocado, you got a lot of stuff on it. So please enjoy, subscribe, and leave your comments. And please tell a friend, and a friend, tell a friend. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with this beautiful kind of cooking. Bye bye.